Here we are back with the second half now of the Wrestling Independence inaugural show. Savannah, are you ready for more hard-hitting action? I'm ready. I'm excited. Well, of course, I am Brian Murphy, joined as ever by Savannah Ray, and we're starting this one off with a doozy. stepping over the top rope the size of this man yeah he's very massive well we saw triple threat action closing out the first half of course we have that main event closing out that triple threat between Jared Diaz cheeseburger and Leon St. Giovanni but we got more triple threat action starting out this second half. <laughs> Sometimes I might get into a little trouble. Might get ahead too big for my own good. And there goes Lola, backing up Tiberius. You see him, he's ready to go after Tabor. Lola struggling to hold Tiberius back. There's some admiration there for the leather pants on Tabor. Not very fond of pleather. <laughs> well, their third opponent, a recent addition to this match. It's run deep Savannah. This man's got a lot of influence, but on top of that, all the ability to back it up. And Lala's gotta hold Tiberius back again. I also point out all three of these guys in this match come from the same training facility, Workhorse Academy in Delaware. We see some of that agility already on display from Pockets, able to just hoist himself up and over the rope. We saw Tiberius stepping over that rope too, bringing his size, his dominance. And Tim Tabor, well, he's got the pleather. Alala saying to go check his pockets. Does he even have any pockets? Shut up! Ready? Shut it! Be quiet. Look at Tabor sizing up to these two men. You see Tiberius Asante just powering over the rest of these two. The man monster, he's called. Pushed off now, and oh! Tabor trying to take down the big man. I was 
see he's way over his head right now. Uh, even with that head of momentum. Oh! Sent crashing down to the mat. Pockets lining himself up, going, going for that drop kick. And Tiberius not sent down to his to the mat yet. Not taken off his feet as Tim Tabor comes crashing in. As you see Tim Tabor and Pockets teaming up to try to take down Tiberius Asante, keeping him in the corner. That's not a bad idea. Very strategic. Oh! Try putting a little too much mustard on that one with that roll down cut and an Uranagi position. Oh, wow! See Tiberius Asante throwing pockets like a rag doll. Oh, sent over in that exploder. That T-bone suplex is... Uh, Tabor, he's trying his best. Oh, up in the air before pockets comes in for the save. Oh, swinging now. Pockets trying to chop down the redwood tree trunk legs of Tiberius. And that's one way to take in an opponent like Tiberius down. Aiming towards the legs, trying to get him down to his size. But now using Pockets as a weapon and with a bunch of force. <laughs> this guy, Tiberius, able to do a perfect fallaway slam Catching Tabor for a choke slam now. You see him trying to attempt a Superman punch, but failed. I, I just felt the ground beneath those shades. Yeah, he just did that with one hand. I'm, I am flabbergasted. And Timmy being from Cincinnati, I'm from Cincinnati. This is embarrassing right now. I expected this from the Bengals this season, but no, this is just icing on the cake right now. Uh, he's trying to do a, a one-handed choke. Maybe even trying to pin with a single hand, but Pockets won't have any of it. And this is an impressive physique on Pockets. The conditioning that this man must go through. It allows him to deliver the swift kicks with so much power. Combination of speed and strength. See Ruthless Lala on the sidelines. Hey, Tiberius to wake up. Oh, he might have trouble after a blockbuster night like this. Going for a cover now might have taken too much time and oh! Tiberius launching him up into the air. And Tiberius taken off his feet, but only for so long. Catching pockets for a choke slam. Tim Tabor offered his own. And he has the both of them. It's the strength and of he's this not man. Done, he's not done with pockets right now. Inhuman. Oh. Big black hole slam. He calls it the BDE. And he pins Pockets. See the man monster with the win. Very massive showing. I think the whole locker room was just put on alert. Tiberius has come to the city of brotherly love and he's taking everybody's head. I'm sure even the members of our main event have to be looking at this match, realizing that this man is a contender. Backstage, Leon St. Giovanni, world famous cheeseburger, Jared Diaz. All preparing for that main event triple threat match and what a landmark that will be for Philadelphia.